Hey guys, Drifter here. I'm going to show you how to make your own homemade TRE. If you guys don't know what a TRE is, it is a Timing Retard Eliminator. What it does is, it retards your, it eliminates your Timing Retard. The reason why I made this is because it, uh, it increases your horsepower in the first four gears of your bike. All between your 2000 and 7000 RPM range for 600, 750s and 1000 Jixers. Alright, tools that you're going to need and supplies are a switch which is a double pull, double pull, double throw rocker switch. You could buy it at a at a, what do you call this place? Radio Shack, your local Radio Shack at the mall or around. You need electrical wire, 22 gauge, or something thick enough so it won't break. You're gonna need your resistor, which is for Jixer 1000, a 6.800 ohm, or Jixer 600, 750, it will be a 15,000 ohm. The reason why they're different is because uh, Jixer 1000, that's for fifth gear mapping, for Jixer 600s, that's for 6 gear mapping. These are the optimal maps for these bikes. And your standard tools, which is your soldering iron, your drum with tool, Allen wrenches to take off your tail and stuff, and pliers. Now, here's the tools. Pliers for stripping the wire, soldering iron for soldering the wire, solder, soldering, solder for soldering the wire together, and your resistors. I got the resistors for Jixer 1000s and here, optional ohm meter, ohm meter to check if the resistor is the right one. I mean, check if it's working too. And wires, I got here, I got 22. No, these are 18 gauge wires. And your switch, your double pull, double throw switch. So, where to get all the stuff is basically a radio shack. And all right, here's the schematics. TRE. This is a switchable TRE which means you could turn it off and turn it on at your pleasing. The why I made the switchable one was you could when you're warming up the bike it lowers the RPM when it's on but when it's off it switches back to the normal map and it runs at the same RPM. So here's the double pull, double throw switch right here. Here's the 15,000 for Jixxer 600. They wired to that there. The, these two wires go to the ECU and these two other wires they go to your gear position sensor alright now that's the schematics now for the installation this is not a big project at all all you need is the ability to solder a couple wires together hence here here solder and drill a small hole in your plastic for your switch if you can do that you're all set to go. Alright, now, testing your TRE. How do you know if your TRE is working? After the bike is warm, flick the switch on and off. When the TRE is on, the RPMs will drop around 300 to 500 RPM. That's why you want to install the switch so on cold days you can start it, start it, and this, this thing won't give you a problem. But, and then when it's uh, warm and adding, just pull in the clutch and the RPM should go up at least by 700 to 1000. I mean, that's the, pretty much the only side effect that this thing gives. The RPM goes up when you pull in the clutch and when it's starting up, it, uh, it's, uh, it gives it a hard time in cold weather. But this is the homemade Terry switch. So, that's it. That's all I got for you guys. Drifter out.